Today, Spice Run fans, I am taking on Four Square Spice. Yes, that Barbados powerhouse, the one of the most revered rum brands in the world. They do a spiced rum. Let's dive in. Now, I'm not going to waste too much time here. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Uh, I can almost pinpoint roughly to the exact month and year that I last had this. We are talking roughly about eight and a half years ago. Uh, and in full disclosure, I, I tried it and I really didn't like it. I In that time, I in that part of my life, I was I did have that sweeter palette. I did want those sweeter spiced rums. This to me was none of those. This to me then was a, like an overly spiced, unsweetened, monstrosity of a spiced rum but now my palate has developed quite a bit and I appreciate some uh, unsweetened we know all spiced rums need a touch of sweetness you cannot put the likes of cinnamon clove ginger nutmeg into spiced rums without a touch of sweetness and that was kind of what my downfall was many many years ago I kind of needed more um, sort of more sweetness actually vanilla quite a lot in spiced rums and I don't believe this has any so I'm looking really really looking forward to diving into this. I can't give you any more information on this because like most Foursquare uh, products, unless it's written on the flipping bottle, you've got absolutely no idea. You could probably get hold of like Pete Holland in the UK, Brand Ambassador, um, maybe Gail, maybe maybe Richard if they're kind of doing the rounds and sort of doing uh, tastings and that in your neck of the woods. But going online, trying to get information is like getting blood out of a stone out of Foursquare. I know, uh, I know they don't believe in websites or anything like that. So uh, I've I've got absolutely zero knowledge to tell you other than let's just dive in. And the one thing I do hate, I do hate wax seals, if I'm being honest. Um, kind of, I kind of want to maintain, not the fact it's unpractical, I kind of want to maintain the look of the bottle. I really love that. I just wish it had kind of cracked. So we're going to try and crack the wax seal as nicely as we possibly can. Right, so I won't lie, that was a bit of a mission to get into. They really don't want you getting into these bottles, do they? We might as well just pull the whole flipping thing off now. There we go. Let's just get rid of all that. It's a shame because wax seals do look good but as soon as you break the bottle they look you know they look kind of terrible after that but there we go right let's pour a glug in here this is my first tasting eight and a half years what do we reckon what's it smell like first off it's definitely not a bold in your face spice drum i'm saying i'm getting like delicate really delicate ginger cinnamon maybe nutmeg off that i tell you what the more it opens out the more i would say uh, a warm Christmas cake that has just been cooked sitting the other side of the room. Doesn't fill the room with spices, but you just get this kind of gentle wafting of Christmas cake aromas. Or maybe your, your Christmas cake's been in a Tupperware and you've just opened a box of Tupperware and you kind of, you know, those aromas are seeping around the house. It's, it's a very gentle nod to Christmas cake. I don't think I'm picking anything up much. Uh, anything else up on the nose to be fair. Uh, the one thing I forgot to tell you price wise, uh, 30, 31 pounds roughly. So it's kind of at the expensive end. Oh, and the ABV, I was gonna have a little rant about this. I won't, but I'll put 37 and a half percent. Why? I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm guessing that was the perfect ABV for these spices. I'm guessing that at 40%, um, you know, it just wouldn't have been as good in Richard's mind. So that, that's what I'm guessing. I don't know, but it's a 37 and a half percent now. Four, you know, 30 quid. There we go. Right, let's dive in. I, can, I totally get why I didn't enjoy it sort of eight or nine years ago because um, it is very, very dry. Um, is it balanced? I, I guess in the truest traditional sense of the word, this is a proper spiced rum because... It's got cinnamon forward, and it's kind of like a dry uh, cinnamon. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel like you've just had cinnamon powder on your tongue or anything like that, but it's very cinnamon sort of forward. And then, why is that? There's kind of this weird thing going on. Hang on a minute. I've got it. I've totally got it. Gingerbread. It's, um, it kind of lengthens out into this gingerbread um, kind of finish for me. So... You know, the spice profile on that, it is it's quite interesting. It's definitely cinnamon, it's definitely vanilla, uh, definitely ginger, sorry. No vanilla. Uh, I don't get vanilla on that at all. I would say something else on the finish with gingerbread, and I can't quite pick what it is. It's definitely an interesting spiced rum. I'm, I'm a little bit confused at the moment of how this is going to go in with mixers. 
and I'm a little bit confused as to whether I actually like it or not. I think what I actually get, I think what that flavour is, is maybe come sort of like a, a bitter orange, if you like, on with that gingerbread. It's definitely gingerbread. Um, perhaps it's not ginger. Perhaps, well, perhaps it is ginger, obviously, but perhaps it's, it's kind of like to get gingerbread. You've got like that sort of blend of spices. That's what gingerbread essentially is. But that's what it, that's what I kind of get from it. Gingerbread, orangey kind of finish. I'm actually really looking forward to trying this mix. It's, uh, it's confusing. I, can't, I haven't made my mind up whether I like it yet or not. It's very different to what I'm used to. Um, almost, controversially, not quite as different as the uh, the Bristol Spiced Rum. That's very out there and very different. But on whether I like it or not, that's kind of where I'm at with it. It's it's not what I'm used to. This could be interesting. So the first round of mixer tests, uh, this the standard mixers before we get onto the Stratford sodas in a second. Um, so we've got, you've got the cola, as I've said time and time again, I've done this blind tasting, Pepsi is my out and out favourite there. Um, ginger ale, ginger beer and the apple. Now, um, my favourite is the apple. Sparkling beaver apple juice, Belvoir if you want to go chav. Um, you can tell, uh, the gas, the gas has got me already on this. Um, this is really interesting, I do like the cola. It's not my favourite spiced rum and cola. Um, I wouldn't have it if I wanted a rum and cola. It's just, just what it reminds me of when Coca Cola released their cinnamon. I think it was a cinnamon for Christmas. Like they've done it over the previous few years. I wasn't a huge fan of that, and that's that's what that reminds me of. It reminds me of that sort of profile, and kind of, which is kind of weird because a lot of spiced rums have that sort of profile. But I think for me personally, the lack of vanilla in that, and I'm not saying sweet, I don't want sweet vanilla, but just vanilla kind of rounds off like lots of ingredients. And I know like so many spiced rums have vanilla and I know it's different, I get that. But it's a reason why a lot of brands use vanilla because it just, it adds a touch of sweetness. Of course it does, it tricks your mind. I won't say sweetness, it kind of tricks your mind into thinking it's sweet but it does round those flavours off. So the, 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 the cola I'm a little bit, it's nice, it's decent. It's just, I would only have one of them. I wouldn't have a second one of those. That's that's how I'd sum that up. Uh, ginger ale, no, not for me at all. That, that, that just conflicts. Uh, the apple, the ginger beer is second place. I do like that ginger beer because the ginger beer has got a touch of sweetness, which does kind of work for that. Now, I think um, if I use Fever Tree, for instance, which doesn't have the same amount of sweetness as that, I think that falls down. I don't think that's a Fever Tree ginger beer kind of uh, job with that spiced rum. It's the sweetness that kind of rounds this off. But this, this is actually a stunning drink. I really, really like this. The apple, the fizzy apple, the cinnamon, the sort of gingery spices that goes with that. That, that for me is divine with that. That's my way, go-to way of drinking that, definitely. The, I mean, none of these even get close to that. So that's the, um, I don't know whether you've ever, I know you guys in the US probably won't be able to get this, but let's let's give you a little close-up on that. So you can, well, you should be able to see that on the close-up there, hopefully. But it's kind of, it's like a, a UK brand, sparkling apple, ju apple, apple juice. It's, uh, it's a pink lady apple. Uh, so it's not overly sweet, um, but in the UK, if you think, well, I've never seen that, most farm shops have stocked it. Beaver are in pretty much most farm shops. And I've even seen this in supermarkets, but in the bigger 750s or litre bottles. So it is out there quite a lot. Uh, it's just not obvious because you don't. You see your ginger beers, obviously. You see your colas, obvious. Um, but that my local Tesco's has that in the big bottles, you know. So it is out there. And then we move on to Stratford Sodas. Again, I will drop this as a paid promotion, but you guys should know by now that I do love these. I do uh, feature these most weeks. I think they are a phenomenal kind of mixer brand that every pub bar 
uh, hotel restaurant, it, the upcoming r uh, rum boom that's coming, the rum big rum trend that's coming. I think these are a must stock for the industry. But you guys at home, if you want to get hold of these and try them for the first time, if you're in the UK, we're giving you 50% off. There's a link that will auto populate at uh, checkout. So just click that link in the uh, description below. Uh, let's go through these one by one. I'm so. <laughs> I'm not excited. <laughs> I'm not excited by this rum. It's a very fascinating rum for me. It's I can understand it why I didn't really appreciate it back then. I just think it lacks something with all the the spiced rums that we have. Sweet, unsweet. You know, this doesn't really doesn't tickle my pickle. I haven't used that phrase in it for a long time. So let's just go through the citrus long daiquiri. Um, yeah, so right, it's not it's not floating my boat. There's another phrase. Uh, the tropical, that's the worst of the bunch. That is terrible. That's absolutely terrible. My favourite of the Stratford sodas mixes on it. You know, the tropical is just terrible with that. I'm really sorry. It is. Um, the hedgerow, so that's pineapple and coconut. The hedgerow, blackberry and rose. It, it's, it's all right. It's decent. It doesn't offend you. Is it as good as the apple? No. Is it as good as the ginger beer? No. Um, would I have a second one of those? No. Um, so I'm probably putting it on the lines of Pepsi. Uh, I'm really, you can tell, I'm really apathetic about this. The spice is the pick of the bunch with this. Cinnamon forward with a hint of ginger. Um, because it basically take that as the spice, it take the citrus as the base plus um, sort of cinnamon ginger. It is. So it's got that citrusy kick to it. It is nice. I It doesn't play up with the apple for me. I could maybe handle a second one of those. Um, yeah, it's not the mixers, because you will know that I flipping love the mixers and you've watched it. For those of you that watch this week in, week out, will know that these mixers work so well with some. It's this. It is this spiced rum. It is, it just... It just lacks something to me, and I'm, I'm thinking 30, 31 pounds? I don't know. It, it, it's probably the most apathetic I've been about a spiced rum. And this is not a hate on Foursquare. Look, you know I have plenty of bads about Foursquare and, and all that. It's not that I hate the rum. I, <laughs> my big point is that everyone goes nuts for Foursquare. And I always sort of try and say to them, broaden your horizons. There's way more rums out there than Foursquare rums. Go out there. But you see the same people posting the same thing about like a similar rum with a different number on the front. And, you know, that's not a hate on Foursquare. I, I really like Dorleys. I really, really love the Dorleys rums. Do. Absolutely love them. But I just have banter with the Foursquare community to broaden their horizons. Check out some other rums because it's all, you know, everyone goes loopy. The, the, the merest hint of a new release coming out. For good reason. It's quality, quality rum. But there are many other thousands of quality rums out there. That's my whole point. This spiced rum, it's been out there a lot of years, and I generally can see why it's never been a massive hit. Because I'm sorry, it just it just doesn't do it for me. 